This video is to learn how to read a valve timing diagram on a four cylinder engine. Okay, to start with, you've got a line vertically down the middle. It represents the stroke of the piston in the engine. You've got top dead centre and you've got bottom dead centre. Okay, the first stroke on the four stroke cycle is the induction stroke. This is when the inlet valve opens. The inlet valve opens just before top dead centre. It goes all the way down on the induction stroke and it closes just after bottom dead centre. Okay, the inlet valve opens around 10 degrees before top dead centre. So that is inlet valve open. It is open for the whole of the induction stroke. That is 180 degrees. And it actually closes on the compression stroke at around 60 degrees after bottom dead centre. So that is inlet valve closed. To work out how long the inlet valve is open, you need to add up these figures. So your inlet valve is open for 10 plus 180 plus 60, which is open for 250 degrees. Okay, after the inlet valve closes on the compression stroke, the compression stroke finishes with both valves closed. The next stroke is the power stroke, which is where your fuel and air mixture is ignited by the spark plug. So your power stroke continues down. Now at the bottom, around 50 degrees before bottom dead centre is when your exhaust valve starts to open. Okay, so the exhaust valve opens about 50 degrees before bottom dead centre. It stays open on the whole of the exhaust stroke, which yet again is 180 degrees. It closes about 20 degrees after top dead centre when your four stroke cycle starts to repeat on the induction stroke. Okay, to work out how long the exhaust valve is open for, you need to add up these numbers again. So it's 50 plus 180 degrees plus 20 degrees, which gives you 250 degrees. That is only on this example. Each engine is different. As you may have noticed, the exhaust valve and the inlet valve are open at the same time when the four stroke cycle starts to repeat itself again. When the inlet valve and the exhaust valve are open at the same time, this is known as valve overlap. Okay, so now that you've watched this video, hopefully you will now be able to understand and read a valve timing diagram.